Today I was going to show you how to mod Star Wars Battlefront 2 and also log into private servers. To start off, there's a few things that you need to download to get this running. First thing you're going to need is the Frosty Mod Manager. And of course, I'll leave links to everything in the description so you can download them. Next thing you would need is the Kyber application. And what this does is it lets you log into private servers. And if you're using the Epic Game Store like I am, you're going to need the Frosty Fix in order to launch the mods. To install these, it's very simple. The Frosty Mod Manager, what you can do with this, you can extract all these files wherever your Battlefront folder is. Mine is under Origin Games, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then I made a new folder called Battlefront Mods, and I extracted it right in there. So as you can see, I got the Frosty Mod Manager right here, along with the Frosty Fix, which I also put in the same folder. I made a separate mods folder for the actual mods that you're going to be downloading, which I will show in a second. With Kyber, all you're going to simply do is just throw it onto your desktop. doesn't really require anything else. And then you can double click on it and it's going to load up this window here. You can click on configure at kyber.gg and then it will throw up the website. And here you can browse what server you want to go to. And these are all private servers. So like this very first one here. It says that it requires this Battlefront plus 5.01. I don't know what that is yet. I'm still doing research on that, but I want to show you some actual mods that I have installed like this one, like this Battlefront gameplay rework, which you, what you can simply do is you can highlight it like this, hold control and press C to copy, go over to Google, paste it in like that. It's going to take you to Nexus mods and there you go. And then you can go ahead and manually download it. Once you manually, manually download it, you can throw it into the mods folder like I, I did here. I made my own mods folder and inside I have the actual mods. So there goes the one that I'm looking at right now, that PMIA Battlefront gameplay rework. So just throw it right in there and then you just follow through with the rest of them. Battlefield 2022 cosmetics and gameplay is one file. So you can do the same thing. You just copy, paste it into Google. Go on to Nexus Mods, and there it is. You can just download this. It's going to be two files included with that. So that will be the cosmetics and also the gameplay. And you can put it right there in that same folder. Once you have all the mods that are required for this server, you're going to go back and open the Frosty Mods Manager, which I made a shortcut to my desktop to make it easier to launch. So you can open up here. Then you can click Scan for Games, and it should find your game the same way it found mine. Then you double click on this. Then here's the mods to get them in here. You have to click on add mods and then you go to the folder where your mods are located and then you open it up. You don't have to click on anything. You just literally press open and it should scan for all the mods. Once you have all the mods in there, now what you're going to do is you're going to click apply mods to put it onto this, this right box here. So you click on the first one, press apply mod and it's going to throw it over and you keep doing that for each one. Once you have it in there, you're going to go back to the website and you're going to see the order that it's listed. So like you see the PMIA, the IOI, and then it's cosmetics and then gameplay. Got to make sure you have it in the same exact order as the server. PMIA, IOI, cosmetics, gameplay. Perfect. Now you press launch and then what it's going to do is going to show a loading screen and it's going to start applying these mods. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It took me probably about five to 10 minutes the first time I did it. After it already loaded all that, you can X this out and not use this anymore. Then if you're on the Epic Game Store, you're going to be using the Frosty Fix. So before we start that, of course, open up the origin because you got to open up two launchers, open up origin, open up Epic. And if you have the same issue I do, it's not going to show it in the quick launch. So what you will have to do to get it to show up there is click on library. Click on that refresh library on the top right. It will start spinning. Then you can exit out, reload Epic again, and then it should pop up and show it there. There it is. Okay, so now let's minimize this. Let's minimize the origin. Now we're going to open up Frosty Fix, which I also put on my desktop as a shortcut. Now you're going to select game. You're going to look for Battlefront. And then you're going to click what platform you're using. In this case, it's Epic Game Store. So I have that checked. And then you're going to press launch with mods enabled. Give it a second. It's going to load up the Epic Game Store. 
and it's going to do that stupid thing again. So you press library, do the same crap again. You don't need this frosty fix anymore. You already applied the mods and uh, vice versa. If you want to disable the mods to go back to normal battlefront, you're going to do the same thing You're going to open up the frosty fix and click on disable mods. If you want to just go back to the normal game with no mods. So now we can X this out. We're done with this. So we're browsing for a server, right? So let me refresh it to make sure that the servers still exist. Here's this one right here, heroes versus villains. And it has exactly the same mods that I'm running in the same exact order. I'm going to press yes to join the server. It's going to say, okay, success. You start your game to join the server. So what you're going to do is open up the Epic game store and you're going to click on launch like normal. It should load up the game and show you a whole new background. And you'll see this window when it's loading up the mods. So you know you did something right when you see this. See, something got messed up. I just figured out what was wrong with this server right here. They're using a newer version than the one I have. 2.6.1. The one I'm currently running is 2.5.3. So that's the problem. So I'll go ahead and search that up. Here it is. Nexus mods. And this was just updated today. So this is a brand new one. So I guess this one is not the right one to download. So I'm going to download this one. The one that's just the plain rework. Now I'm going to go back into that folder where I have my mods. Remove mods. Poof. There you go. Uninstalled. Delete this one completely to get it out of here. Boom. Extract to my folder into the mods folder. Boom. All right. Now that it's in there, I'm going to go add mod. Add the new one. There it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply that and make sure that it's in the right order. So it should be on the top. So let me go ahead and push that to the top. There we go. Make sure it's in the right order. IOI cosmetic gameplay, cosmetic gameplay, IOI. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press launch. So now it's going to go ahead and, and put it through to inject these mods in there. Okay. So it's finally done loading. Go back to frosty, make sure that that loads up properly. So let's open this. Epic game store launch with the mods. Cause if you don't use the frosty fix, then it's not going to load the mods properly. Okay. I think it was this one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and it looks like it's all the same version. All right. Press yes. There we go. Time to join the server. Open up Epic, click on it. Pray to God that it launches. You should see that DOS window that pops up loading in the mods in a second. If you see that, then you at least know that the mods are loading. There we go. It's loading the server thing. And yes. All right. This is good. Yes. All right. We made it. So now I can pick a character. Um, you can play whoever you want. Um, I'm going to play as her because why not? All right. All right. We're in. And of course, everybody has different abilities. So you got to check out their abilities to see what they do. Um, so push Valor. Um, what is that? Restoring health. And then you get faster speed. And then what's that one? Quick move in any direction to swing in her lightsaber. Okay. Oh, so that's basically like Luke's attack, basically. So a lot of the abilities are pretty similar to each other from like older characters, but they, they kind of modified things a bit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got some Samuel Jackson in the house. But yeah, like uh, that's that's the modded stuff. Another thing you could do is just make your own server in case you're having trouble logging into one. So you can click on host here, pick what you want to do. So let's say I just pick co-op, whatever. Let's just pick any random thing. I'm going to name it test one, two, three. You can pick what kind of server you want. So wherever you're located, I'll just put the New York one, leave it at 40 players, whatever, press play. Now. I can load up the game and of course you need to have the kyber program running in the background and there we go we're in and if we jump back over to the server list on this website you can go back go to servers and you'll see my server in here so there it is test one two three co-op attack geonosis and it says my name scriptures anybody can join as long as you put it open, you could put a password if you want to on these, in these private servers. Okay, so I just figured out how to set up a co-op match to play it by yourself, at least until people join you. So you press insert. And what this does is it pulls up the admin menu. 
And here you can click on these boxes to bring up these these extra windows. The administration menu is this one right here. So initially it was like hovering over the Kyber here and I grabbed it and I, I dragged it aside and put it in the corner right here. I did the same thing with the moderation one. With the moderation one, you can kick players and, and move them around. And with the admin menu, you can add in bots. So with the admin menu, I can basically just give myself a bot so I'll put one on there and there it will start the timer. And now I can actually play with bots. By the way, the bots are buffed like crazy with these mods, especially the online improvement one. I think that's the one that that makes the, the AI enemies like extremely hard. So they almost feel like you're fighting actual players sometimes. Oh, my God. You see that? They just slaughter. All right. I have just enough to be able to play somebody. So let me see. So we got Jangle Fett, which I love. He's pretty badass. And we got this one that's from the, the Clone Wars show. Um, this is one of the Inquisitors from that new Obi-Wan Kenobi show. So like <laughs> you have a lot of options. Dark, Darth, uh, Darth, Darth Sidious. Wow. Okay. I was having a hard time with that one. Oh, you already know him. You already know her. You already know her. But new ones. All right. This guy. You got this one. This is from uh, Mandalorian. You know, like, so you have a lot of options, a lot of options. Look at this. You even got the guy, the other guy from Mandalorian. So another Mandalorian right here. Breaking Bad. All right. Let's see what she's about. See, it's just like Kylo's ability. So let's see what that lunge thing is like. If I could use it. Here we go. Oh, that was sick. All right. Oh my god, okay, yeah, that too much too much damage. Holy shit. They hit really hard. My god. Oh my Jesus. Oh we're getting shot from behind. Damn. Alright, well, that's that character. So I'm not going to have points for a while. But anyway, you get the idea. It's uh, co-op and you can do it by yourself with the modded stuff. So, yeah, until people join and stuff. I don't even know who the hell this guy is, but he looks badass. You know, so um, it's pretty awesome to be able to play all these new characters. Stuff that EA should have put in in the first place, but nope. Whatever. That's how you play the mod stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. I know it's complicated. And if it gives you any trouble, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you as best as I can. But yeah, it is a pain in the ass. So until they make it simpler, then I can't fully recommend doing this yet. But at least you have an option to try. And at least there is something to look forward to whenever EA decides, fuck Battlefront, we're going to shut the main servers down because it's not making us enough, mo enough money. Because you already know they're going to do something like that eventually. So anyways, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later.